even though I don't know about you, but it it kind of feels like January, yari, 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 like this month has already been going on forever, and it's only the twelfth. But it is the beginning of the month, and guess what that means? You know, it's catalog drop time. This time of year, we're all looking for a little something to keep it fresh, that jolt of bright and happiness that our closet desperately needs. Maybe just a little pick-me-up maybe in these kind of grayer days. I've always said one of the reasons I think Minnesota in the winter is doable is because we get these great bluebird skies. Gang, I gotta tell ya, it has been gray, gray, gray. So I'm gonna take all my bluebird moments and get them in our new catalog. So many fun things. So we're gonna start right from the top. What do you want right now? A sweatshirt. What do you need right now? A sweatshirt. It's so easy. It's one of my favorite pieces this time of year because it's exactly what I want to wear. And I'm guessing it's what you want to wear too. Every morning these past two weeks, it's been like me forcing myself to figure out a way to not wear a full on sweatsuit every single day. So I compromised and I've just worn a sweatshirt on top and then a different pant on bottom. And I'm always looking for something comfy. So, sweatshirt, sundry, meant to be relaxed. This is a small, I love this little hit of like almost neon, but not quite neon. I call it moxie pink because it's got a little something going on. Little peachy, but then with that pop of white, I think it's so fun. Raham, so meant to be just a little bit more relaxed and easy. And then pairing it back to the closest thing to a jogger you can find that is in a sweatpant, and that is this yummy, yummy pant from Paige. Now, here's the deal. It's post-holidays. We all make our resolutions. We all decide we're gonna do all these things better, but the reality is, is that life keeps moving. And what we need to do right now is just take care of ourselves and be thoughtful about what we put on our body and love the skin we're in. So that is why I am all for this jogger because it is comfy, comfy, comfy. I actually went up a size in this one because I want this jogger to just feel more relaxed. It is absolutely gonna stretch and I feel okay about that. I want it to be a little bit looser. This fits just like that favorite jogger that we all love from Paige, but down in the denim, I think it's so fresh, so cute, absolutely adore it. And in this kind of medium wash, it's that pop of brightness we all need. Now, can we talk about footwear? Are you wanting to wear sneakers all the time? Uh, yeah, me too. So here's the deal. This sneaker is from The Greats. Who are The Greats? I had to do a little investigating myself this morning. So here's the deal. Found it in Brooklyn, 2014. Eco-conscious, want to make sustainable, durable, wearable, and fashionable footwear. This answers all the tickets. Tons of recycled material, both inside and outside, and then suede, on those great uppers super super comfy run true to size the pair that i'm wearing now in this great neutral combination which kind of goes with everything is a limited edition so snag it while you can because guess what we have it and they are like sold out to the piece on their site so we're the place to get it absolutely love these so cute so fun so they want to know if you're wearing socks and they're worried about exposing their ankles yes. in the cold. Okay, so in, in the cold, I know it's true, right? Look at my little ties, you know. So I would wear my little footy socks with these and then this time of year, you know what I love? I love a good like smart wool footy. Have you ever tried these? Because they are so comfortable. They keep your tootsies warm, right? But they are no show. So they are the best kept secret out there. Absolutely adore them. I like them here. And... I mean, honestly, gang, I do just kind of brave the ankles because for the most part, there's not a lot of scenarios anymore, at least for me, where I'm sitting for long durations of time with my ankles exposed. Like you're kind of in the car, inside somewhere, back in the car, back home. The only difference, right, would be, you know, hockey games. But that's when I'm popping on my Sorrells or my Pink something that's going to keep me warm and cozy so I don't even think about it when it comes to that so yep just wear my little no-show socks show off those ankles I mean it's kind of the only part of skin you can really show right now because you know, it is January so easy way to do it do you want to see the back of your joggers oh just pockets cute pockets cute little flat pockets I love a good flat pocket you know why 
instant butt lift, so good, right? And fun little zip around the side, super, super soft and crazy stretchy pants. So really, really comfortable. Oh, and then there was one little thing I wanted to show and I'm gonna cover my hands. I, I'm taking a break. Do you guys do this? I'm taking a break from my manicures this month. And I feel like kind of half naked all the time, but I'm committed. I'm committed. This is what I'm giving up for January. And it's my dry January, but with nail polish. So my nails don't look good. But I want you to see this really, really fun ring. So this kind of natural stone moment is happening with jewelry right now. And I wanted you to see that it doesn't have to be fancy. It's just a great little pop. I love the white of this one. I think it feels just a little bit springy. I don't know, it kind of goes with everything. Easy peasy, fun. Are you wearing your true to size in the joggers? No, I went up the size in these because I want them to be relaxed. If I'm gonna have a jogger jean, I want it to feel like a jogger. Like I am not looking for something that's gonna be more shaped and fitted. You totally could gain because these do have a ton of stretch and I know, let's just watch what happens for the next 15 minutes because they are gonna stretch on me. I just want them to feel loose and comfy like my favorite pair of like Barley or Viore joggers, right? That's what I'm looking for. People are with you with the nails. Right, I know it's a break, but man, it's hard, isn't it? And then I get nail envy. I look at everyone right, like around, like Britt right now, she's got these beautiful nails and I want them and I have to hold off. It's so hard. Good for the nails. It's good for the nails. Okay. All right, so speaking of layers, let's talk about another really awesome sweatshirt that I'm just so into. What I think is so great right now is that there's so many great ways to do sweatshirts that aren't just a sweatshirt. I mean, I have a place in my closet, of course, for just my standard gray, my standard black, my standard white, but I love a little something something going on when it comes to fashion sweatshirts. Sundry does it best, so this is a sundry, another great sundry. Look at this little quilted number, how cute is this? With the buttons, that little hit of red, this great denim blue, now I love it, love it, love it with this jeans. This would be such an easy swap to make. Also more of a relaxed fit, you got that quintessential drop shoulder. Now the difference on this one, I think, is that little bit of a curved hem. So this is a really easy one just to let hang out. I'm actually gonna show you what this looks like. This is like a guy wore a cami, so you can see. Because this guy is so darn cute on. Well, I'm changing. I saw the funniest video this morning when I was supposed to be getting ready and I was being distracted of this woman who was standing next to her husband's side of the bed. And he said, what are you doing? And she said, I'm just curious what it's like to sleep on this side of the bed. It must be, it must be so much quieter because you, you clearly can't hear the baby crying from this side. And I thought it was so funny. Really funny. Okay, so here's the deal with this guy. So I'm like looking in the mirror to see. So you've got this great little side button. I love just having like one little open, just you, I don't know, just loosen it up a little bit, right? Quilting, and then you can see that great curved hem gang. So this is one where you don't have to worry about half tucking. You can just let it be. I love that the quilting goes all the way through the armband. Really yummy kind of wash down fabric. This is a fabulous, fabulous one. So if you're not feeling that like brighter neon, this is a great way to go and more of a neutral that looks good with any jean out there. Okay, so we talked a little bit about sweatshirts, that easy, easy, peasy layer. Let's talk about some of my other favorite layers, the tee. This is the year of the simplest uniform out there. Tee, great jeans, great sneaker. Done, done, done. And We've done all the homework for you. We found it, the perfect tee, oddly enough called perfect white tee, but guess what? It comes in colors. So we've got some new colors in the assortment, this fabulous navy, which I'm really feeling navy right now. It feels so, so fun. This really fun, are you noticing a trend? Kind of washed down, almost neon peach orange, gray, and then of course we also have black and white. Trust me when I tell you this is a fabulous fitting tee. I wore this under the Rivet Utility Jumpsuit last week for the stories. It was so easy, felt so put together. Absolutely adored this. Okay, button downs. Another really easy way to get styled, get dressed in the morning. And we've got some fun kind of, maybe you're going on vacation takeaway, maybe you just want to nod to the season, or you're just looking for a great new top. So we're gonna start with that more, I don't know, 
not to vacation idea. This is from, you guessed it, Rails. Nobody does a button down better. Absolutely love this. It's striped. You're gonna see Sharla wearing this in her resort rail. So this is a fun one to wear. It's like a little tank underneath. You can almost treat it like a jacket. Pop it on over your swimsuit at the beach because it's nice and breezy. But you can wear it now with a great little jean or even a utility pants. So I always think rails button downs run a little bit small. I have really broad shoulders, so I typically go up a size in rails. This guy would be no different. It's meant to be a little bit more relaxed, but I want it to be that way, and I want that kind of fluidity. Gorgeous, gorgeous, more of a linen fabrication, and with these beautiful stripes. Oh, there's my nails again. With those beautiful stripes, is such a fun one. Now, for something on the more kind of crisp side, so fun. It's a play on a menswear stripe, but done in such a chic way. So again, from Rails, this one, true to size game, because it's a little bit more shaped, a little bit more structured. So, pop on fabrication, a nice, really voluminous sleeve, but you've got a fabulous cuff on this, so it's not gonna feel like arm in the soup situation. I love the contrast of the blue and the pink. This is killer with any denim, also looks incredibly fresh with white. So lots and lots of ways to style this. And then last but not least, one of my favorite, favorite shirts of all time. This is the Kayla from Citizens, but here's the deal. Now you know the Kayla, right? I wore this all last summer. We talked about it a ton on every TV, but the exception this year, they made it even better. They shrunk it down a little bit. So for those of us who are looking for something that's not quite as voluminous, you want a great shirt that feels relaxed and lived in and cool, but not so oversized. This guy totally does the trick. And again, if you did not succumb to the need for a white shirt last year, this is your year. I promise you this will be one of the most worn pieces in your closet. It is the cornerstone of almost any capsule wardrobe. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It absolutely works so many ways. I am a loyalist and a fan, and I encourage you to pop this puppy on. And in this new shrunken fit, remember, when I say shrunken, I don't mean small, I just mean smaller than the oversized fit they used to have. So it's a really fabulous update that I am behind 110%. Now, how to wear these? Well, I mentioned a great little utility pant. Here's the sister, kind of to the pant that I'm wearing, but with more of a straight leg bottom. So this is that great page utility, same stretch as the denim that I'm wearing, but with a clean finished bottom. Now what makes this so great is I think this is a really versatile pant. When you're looking for something other than a jean, other than a jogger, you wanna be comfortable, but you wanna feel put together, utility is a fabulous answer and it is coming back in spades this season. Now. One of the things I absolutely love about utility is always adds a little bit of edge to any look you're putting together. It's a neutral, so it's super, super easy to style. Case in point, looks fabulous with this white shirt, looks fabulous with this stripe, and looks fabulous with this blue. So can't go wrong with this guy. Clean pockets on the back, that seamless pocket on the side so it doesn't add any sort of bulk. This is like your staple staple pant absolutely love this guy and again if you are looking for something other than a jean right now i promise you you will love this in the closet all spring season true to size on that one you will find that there's lots of stretch okay warm easy layers let's talk sweaters always a weird spot right this time of year should i wear a sweater should i not wear a sweater what does that look like well my thought is go cotton Go kind of mid-weight so it's warm enough to keep you warm, but not so heavy that it's gonna feel bulky in another two months when the weather starts to turn. So here's the deal, two different options for you. The first one, this great little scoop neck, and I wanna talk about this one. It's in the catalog because it is a nod to what's coming. This racket trend, I'm talking to all of you pickleball fans out there, is happening. Do you guys watch? Kim Holderness and the Holderness family. She's got a whole thing about pickleball. It is so darn funny. She just keeps me laughing every time I watch it. Inspired by pickleball, racquetball, tennis, you name it. 
it's out there. So I love the kind of varsity touches here with that cable knit. Now, when I first saw this one, I was like, ooh, is that kind of stuffy, too serious? Absolutely not. This is a really fun one just to pop on with a more casual pant and with that green and navy hit. It just feels really fresh for this time of year. If you're looking for an easy, easy party, absolutely love this. This is kind of like your fisherman sweater comes spring done in a slightly shorter length, not crop, but slightly shorter, which I absolutely love this for spring. Pop on your little tee with it. This is an easy one to throw into your takeaway bag, put it on on the airplane, lose it when you get to the sunshine. Really, really fun one. And again, because it's such a nice lightweight knit, it's a really, really easy one to wear in this great creamy. They would, they would love to see that on. The Kayla sweater. Oh, the Kayla shirt? Yes. The shirt? Let's do it. Let's do it. Fun. Right. I'm never going to say no to a white button now. So, yeah. You ask for the right thing. Let's, let's do it. Okay. How's everyone's New Year's been? And then will you pop the sweater on that, too? We yeah. want that shirt plus the sweater. Oh, this shirt plus the sweater. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be... Oh, the, the cardigan? Yes. Okay, yes. That will be really cute. I would happily do that. All right, so are everyone's kids back to school? We had like a tease. We went back to school and like two days later we had a snowstorm and everyone was home again. I don't know what happened. Okay, so here is the Kayla Shrunken. So what is different about this version compared to the old version? Well, number one, it's not so long. So that was always one of my tricky spots about that Kayla is that I had to tuck and tuck and tuck and tuck and it sometimes felt like, and I know I'm short, but sometimes felt like I had like the shirt down to my knees. So this guy, much, much easier to tuck. You can see that it still has that great scoop up, which I think is really flattering if you just want to leave it open. Now the secret sauce always with the Kayla is their ingenious way they do the sleeve. So you'll know here, one button, two buttons. So this one is already buttoned up so that, guess what, I don't even have to do that roll it's already kind of three quarter for me. I can push it up to my elbows and I'm done. How easy is that? Thank you citizens for thinking of that. But you can also release that button and then it becomes full length or you can go all the way up and button it all the way up here. So then it really becomes elbow length. So, so many options with this one, so many different ways to style it. Let's talk about it with the cardigan, right? Because we love, love, love that cardigan. Such a great one. So this cardigan is by Every Eve. So always proud of our team when they design something that's so thoughtful and exactly what we're all looking for. This is like their mind readers. They're always thinking about what we need and what we want, right? So here we go. Every Eve cardigan. I have to do the trick. You know when you tell your kids, like, hold on to your sleeve and put your jacket on. So your sleeve is special. So that trick works for adults, too, hopefully. This is when you shouldn't wear a watch with mm -hmm. cut and cut and that darn bracelet that after four years you think that I wouldn't wear it on live when I'm trying clothes on but I never take it off and every Thursday I forget and so it just ends up on and there you go. All right. One arm in. Successful. Okay. Second arm. It's like a race <laughs> but I'm not going to win. Here we go. Half of our life is going to be me trying to put this cardigan on. I love you guys ask me to do things when I can't see myself. But you can, and you can just laugh about how ridiculous I look. Okay, almost there. Here's a mirror that I can kind of see. There we go. We're shifting, we're pulling, we're sorting. Hallelujah. <laughs> we got it. They love it. We got it. Okay. So here's that great card, and you can see what I mean when I say it's shorter, but not cropped, right? So it's still well below my waistline, an easy one to layer. I would absolutely wear, I would wear this whole thing. I mean, how fun is this with these little neutral braid sneakers and then done and done. This feels like an airplane outfit to me, so I'm gonna grab my new Cleo Bella tote that I'm taking on vacation with me, which happily also has a smaller bag that you can also purchase and put all your like electronics and goodies and snacks and whatever you need for a plane. I mean, do I not look like I'm about to hop on a plane and go to somewhere sunny? Let's go to Mexico. Let's, let's do it. Let's go to Cabo. Anywhere. 
Take me anywhere. I'll just come, I'll just go on the bed. So they're wondering so about the wrinkle factor of the Kayla. You know, guys, here's the deal. With Paplin, you're gonna get wrinkles. It's it's reality. Now, what I love about citizens and what they talk about this shirt is just embrace it and be real with it. I am an ironer. I get that from my grandmother who used to give me a pen or a dime, a shirt, or a napkin, or a pillowcase when I would go visit her, and she would pay me to iron. She ironed everything. My mom ironed everything. I still love to iron. It's like my soothing action. But I also think steamers are amazing. I also think a shower does an incredible trick. And I also think embracing lived in Poplin, especially in a shirt like this, works beautifully. So yep, it's gonna wrinkle a little bit and that's okay. You can wear this super easy breezy casual and it's gonna look a million bucks so don't sweat it. Really good question. Okay, so. Oh, they would love to see the pink puffer on top of that. Should we talk about it? Let's talk about this puffer because there we go. It's, it's still kind of cold. So if we're going to be cold and we're going to need a layer, let's have some fun with it. Save the duck. Now you know all the things, all the reasons we love Save the Duck, right? We have some fabulous puffers, which P.S. are on sale right now. And did you know that our clearance sale starts today? An extra 20% off of clearance prices. Prices are exactly as marked on the site. So the price you see is the final clearance price. So fun. So you've got some great heavier jackets. I look at this and I'm like, yeah, this is the perfect transitional jacket. I'm always looking for a fabulous jacket to wear when I go to LA. I turn into a Californian when I go to LA every month. Like I look around and it's 60 degrees and everyone on set is wearing like a beanie and they're wearing puffers and they're freezing. And I'm thinking to myself, I would be wearing my swimsuit right now if I could, but then 10 minutes later I get cold. So this is going to be my answer in a pop of neon does it get more fun. So comes in this fabulous green, also this neon pink. Since you asked about the pink, I'm gonna try it on. This is a small. They all love the color. It's so fun, right? I mean, here's the thing is that I think neon is actually so much more wearable than you think it is because it gives you a little bit of light in the face, you know? So a little pop of joy, a little bit of fun. I also absolutely love this look thing. Comes in a little packable bag. So you can like smush this up. Um, oh, look, here we go. Throw it in your clean umbrella tote when you're on your vacay if you need a little extra warmth. I mean, this is so darn fun, right? Oh, oh God, it's so fun. It's so cute. Okay, so here it is. Love this guy. It's got a double zipper. I honestly refuse to buy any sort of like technical or performance jacket that doesn't have a double zipper because I always want that little bit extra room kind of at that bottom. So comfy. It's got some nice shape to it. So really flattering and of course, your hood. Here we go. We're in the cold, but we're in pink, so that makes it better. So fun. So really, really cute. Pink and green. Sustainable practices that save the ducks. We love them for that. Comfortable gang and a really easy layer too. So one little trick I will say about puffers that I adore is they work beautifully underneath utility jackets as well as under denim jackets if you're looking for just a nice lightweight little layer. This is a great thing to pop on underneath. So here's an example, Good American. Great little utility jacket here. This one's a snap, so it makes it even easier. Let's see how many layers I can put on. I've got on a camp. I've got on a shirt. I've got on a cardigan. I've got on a puffer. And now I'm gonna put on a utility jacket. I feel like Chris Farley, the big man in the little coat. Okay, but here's the deal. Most utility jackets tend to be a little bit more relaxed, which is why I love a puffer that has some good shape because it's a really easy piece to pop underneath. Same is true with denim jackets. It's a really easy one to pop on either under or over. So here you go. Easy, easy combination, right? I, I do feel like maybe this is like one too many layers. I'm starting to sweat a little bit, but it, let's just pretend I don't have a cardigan on. Okay. So I've just got on my great shirt, threw on this puffer that's warm, and then one final layer of this utility jacket. So easy, if I get too warm, I lose the puffer, just keep the utility on. If I wanna lose one more layer, I just take this off. So 
fabulous solution. They're wondering if the puffer has pockets. Yes, of course. Look at this. On seam zipper pockets. How nice is that? Look at Oh. Hand in the pocket. So cute. So fun. The minute I saw these, I just thought this is so fun. I absolutely adore it. And don't, don't not love the green. I gotta tell you, there's something about green that's happening this season, and I'm kind of digging it. I don't know. It's kind of fun, right? So if you're not a pink gal, go green. And I would absolutely still do these layers. I think it's so cute. Okay, so since I've got good American on, amongst 17 other layers, let's talk a little bit. I, I gotta take some of these off because the lights and the movement and the talking and it's just getting a little, a little toasty. Okay, so let's talk about Good American for a hot second gang. If you happen to catch our email yesterday, we have some really fun, exciting news. We just launched an exclusive collection with Good American. Here's what I love about it. It's more than a collection. It is a capsule wardrobe. Seven incredible pieces. We had so much fun styling this thing. I cannot even tell you. Over 20 ways to style it. Ways to combine, mix and match the pieces that look versatile, cool, fun, modern, and easy, easy, easy to wear. And the best part about it is that none of the pieces are crazy trendy that you're not gonna wear them over and over again. So to me, that is the secret sauce of a capsule wardrobe is it has to be versatile. So starting with this fabulous utility jacket, again, utility, loving everything utility this season. This is a fabulous jacket, great leg, good stretch in it, and just a nice, straight, clean cut. So not a lot of bells and whistles in this one, which is why I love it. Now, other pieces that are in the capsule, Let's talk about the tops. I'm gonna to give you the scary one first because those of you that are in the know, you know how fabulous this is. For those of you who don't, we're gonna get you on board. The bodysuit. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. This is one of the sexiest, most gorgeous pieces you can have in your closet. What I love about this from Good American, number one, crazy stretch gang. So really, really soft. It's a Henley and it's in Heather Gray, but it is sexy as can be. Absolutely stunning. Fabulous cream sweater. V-neck, bell sleeve. I find these things run long, so I cuff them up a little bit. The V is low, but not too low. So it's a, just a great, easy silhouette. And then last but not least, that perfect spring sweater. Done in a Henley silhouette. It has a banded bottom, so it's really easy if you wanna do a full tuck or leave it out. All three of these pieces, killer underneath this utility jacket or on their own. All run true to size. And then the bottoms in the collection, well, we were talking about what are you gonna do? What are you gonna buy? It's gonna be a jogger, it's gonna be a pant that feels like a jogger. So, of course, that SIG leg from Good American is one of my absolute favorites. So much stretch. That double waistband, we know we love this. We enforce, and then the seaming, of course, always so flattering. Not quite as straight, not quite as skinny, something in between, so it works for just about any shoe. Dress it up, dress it down. And then the dream, the palazzo pant. Absolutely love this pant. Now, five pocket styling, which means just kind of the top, kind of looks like a jean, but let me tell you, there's nothing like a jean about the bottom wide leg, fluid, flattering, nips you in at the waist, so much stretch, runs long gang, so for those of you who have long legs, it's a dream. For those of you who have short legs, don't worry, because it's a straight, straight layer. I had to chop off a couple inches on mine, and I still love it. So fun. If you want to see this on, all the pieces, Check it out on our Instagram page. Go on our website and check it out. You can go straight to the Good American Collection page. You can see me trying on all the pieces. You can also see a great reel with all the ways that we mix and match the looks. It's selling like banana cakes. Absolutely on fire. So if you see something you love, I suggest you get it now because after this weekend, I have a feeling it's gonna be they're not, they're not high waisted, are they? They're a little bit more high waisted. They are. Yep. Yeah, both the pant and the jean are a little bit more high waisted. But you think I think it's so great about Good American 
is all the stretch. So even though they're high-waisted, if you are not a high-waisted lover,